Welcome to the Patent Agent Preparation Series. So, so today we are beginning with the series where we will discuss about the Patent Agent Exam. What are the requirements and how you can clear that exam. And uh, this will be a video series. So let's start with the first lecture. So today let's discuss the pattern of the Patent Agent Exam and what it includes and what how much marks do you require to clear the examination. So uh, let me share my screen. Okay. So basically patent agent exam consists of two papers, two written uh, papers and one viva verse. So viva, the option of giving the viva only comes when you clear paper one and paper two. So let's discuss what is in paper one and what is in paper two. So basically two exams happen on the same day and the timing of the first exam is 10.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. And the timing of second exam is 2.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. So in this exam, what happens is uh, paper one is completely objective paper and paper two is completely subjective or written paper. And both paper are of 100 marks. So in order to get a chance to have a viva with the examiner or controller, you need to have at least 50 marks in paper one and at least 50 marks in paper two. So only if you have at least 50 marks in paper one and at least 50 marks in paper two, you'll be given an option to have a viva with the examiner. So in paper one, basically paper one consists of three parts, part uh, A, part B and part C. And paper one checks how, how well aware are you about the Patent Act and its rules. So Patent Act 1970 and the rules associated with it, your acumen to understand this act and the rules is checked in paper one. So paper one, the first part, part A consists of 30 multiple choice questions with two marks each. And so the total uh, marks of part A is 60. So basically there is no negative marking in these questions and you need to uh, score as much as possible in paper one because see, in objective questions, you can have some certainty of how many marks you can get. But in subjective papers, you cannot be certain because examiner can give the marks according to his choice as well, whether he likes your answer or not. But paper one is a very straightforward paper where we know what, what is the answer to each question. So try scoring as many marks in paper one as possible. And that will be easier for your next steps as well. So uh, firstly, we have two marks questions, which are uh, only one choice is correct out of the four given choices. And these questions basically checks how well do you know your patent act and the rules. Some of the questions may be associated with practice as in you should be aware of the what, what are the important case laws uh, associated with the Patents Act and the recent decisions given by High Court or Supreme Court. So this uh, is the first part. Then we have part B where we have true-false type questions where we need to say that option one is true, option two is false or what is the given option. And a uh, we can give A, B, C, D and these questions are one mark questions. So it will have 10 questions with one mark each. And part C is, I think the most trickiest part of paper one is part C where which consists of 30 marks where 10 multiple choice questions are there and three marks question. These questions are of three marks each. Why this is the tricky part? Because at least two options are correct and at most four options are correct. So this uh, here we have multiple options which can be correct and we need to take exactly the options which are correct. So for example, if option A, B, C are correct, if you mark A, B and not C, you will not get three marks. You'll get 
marks only if option A, B, C are correct. So this is the trickiest part of paper one. Still, I would say suggest that paper one is easiest among the three. So you should try to score as many marks in paper one as possible so that you, uh, you it becomes easier for you to clear the exam. And at least 50 marks is required. That's only when you can go for the Viva Wars. Then once you have completed your first paper in the morning, there is a second paper in the afternoon, which is from 2.30 to 5.30. So this in this paper, what is the most important part? They'll test your application, how well you can apply the patent act and the rules and how well you can draft the patent applications. So basically this part also consi consists of three parts, parts A, part B and part C, where part A is the short answer type questions where there are four questions of five marks each and part b is long longer questions and where there are three questions of 10 marks each sometimes you can get options in these questions for example uh from four questions they'll ask you to answer any three but that that depends on the exam on year to year and on exam to exam it's not mandatory that you'll get option in this paper this is i think 2022 paper there were no options given in part b or part a next and most important part of the paper two is part c where uh, you'll get or a patent office will analyze how well you can draft the patent application. So in this part, you'll always get options. Generally, one of the uh, one of the invention in part three will relate to electrical, mechanical, uh, or I think it, mostly electrical or mechanical inventions. And one of the options will be related to pharma or life sciences or biotech invention. So you'll have to see, I'll suggest, that is my personal opinion that whichever technology you are you are comfortable with, always try to answer that technology. Don't try to focus on biotech or pharma if you are from someone who is in mechanical domain or who is from electrical domain. So that is how you should make a segregation because maybe if you try to attempt a question of pharma you and or life sciences you are not able to understand it very well and the answer goes wrong there so it's better to answer the technology that you understand and attempt that answer so for in part uh, c there would be mostly two questions one would be the 20 marks question and one would be the 50 marks question in 20 mark questions they'll ask you to write appropriate title write an abstract and draft at least two claims sometimes they give just two claims sometimes they write at least two claims so you should know how to draft the claims which we'll uh, study in the later lectures also and in part two of this section, a whole complete specification needs to be drafted. So you will be asked to draft a complete specification with at least two claims, title, description, abstracts, and everything. So you have to write a complete specification, which we'll also discuss in the coming lectures. So this uh, part is basically most important part. Why? Because in second paper, 50% of the mark, 50, approximately 50% of the marks, which is yes, 50 marks is on drafting and rest of the 50 marks is on application of the act. So at least 50 marks drafting paper would come. So you should be very clear about how you are going to attempt that paper. I think most of the challenge comes in completing paper two because in three hours you need to draft a complete specification which is not very easy to do. So in coming lectures probably we'll discuss strate strategies of how you can how manage your time in the exam and write this 
complete this question uh, paper so that you have at least 50 marks in paper two as well. Only if you have at least 50 marks in paper two, you'll be uh, given a, an option to attend the Viva verse with the examiner. So this is about paper one and paper two. And the next part is the Viva, which is of 50 marks. So the total paper is of 250 marks. And to be a patent agent or to clear this whole process, you should get at least 150 marks. It's only when you get at least 150 marks, then you you will be uh, able to get your patent agent registration certificate. So first, ma first paper, 50 marks is mandatory. Second paper, 50 marks is mandatory. In Viva, there is no limit, but total of all three examinations should be 150. Then only you will be able to clear your patent agent exam. So I think that's all for the first uh, video. And we'll discuss, the, we'll go into the details into the next video.